What's going on everybody? It is GG Gamer and I'm here back with part two to the video from earlier about the Mavis Link. Um, and today we're gonna go over the OBS settings and I've been getting a little familiar with kind of what's going on with it. I'm still new to it, but for overall I can get you started up and running. Um, and then it's up to you to kind of, you know, chisel it into what you want to be. But as you can see, we have OBS open here. I already have some stuff going for it. Um, but first let's start with the video and to do this we just right click add video capture device which is going to then prompt up a um, name and uh, situation which here I'll do real quick here we'll get rid of this. So we'll do this. So we'll add the video capture device, prompts up this, switch. Then it's going to prompt up this. I have mine set to custom stuff, so mine set up to my to match all my uh, monitor stuff. I want the highest FPS available when available. I'm going to throw this to MJ. Big. And then here is an interesting thing. Let me switch back out for you guys to see. But as you can see right now, it's just. Um, it's just. Uh, As you can see right now, it's just the Nintendo Switch, but if you have the Switch thing open um, for that menu, you want to do resolution type, custom, anything like that, you set everything up how you want it, and then come down to the audio output section, and there should be a capture audio only, output desktop audio direct sound, and output desk audio wave. Um, these right here are going to give you the audio from this, but it's going to not give you any control over it um, from within here. So you can do that and you can use custom device, which is then going to put on the audio. Take that off. Um, so there we have that. So I'm going to take off the switch video. So now that's your video. Um, to access it, hit that eye. That'll hide it, bring it back up. Now I'm going to work on getting the um, switch audio up, pretty much. And it's probably already actually playing, um, most likely. <laughs> Let me take a look real quick, though, because it doesn't look like this is activated. There it is. Switch audio. Uh, that's the audio we want. I can hide it, I can bring it back. Um, but to get this, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna go right click, add audio, capture, or audio input capture, name it. Brings up this, it'll bring up this thing. We're gonna go over here, say, hey, we want the USB audio, which is then gonna prompt all this up. So, put those two things up now. What I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to um, right click on the gear of the audio track for the switch, which I actually muted so I can talk. Uh, so this is the audio board for pretty much your channels and the sources of the tracks and whatnot. As you can see, since I have hidden the game audio, it's not playing, nothing's happening, therefore it's not existent. Um, so I can talk. But um, I'm going to activate it here real quick, and it's going to kick in, and I'm going to take off channel 1, which is its main channel, which is where it's going to play through. Um, if that's taken off, unchecked, it's not going to play. So I'm going to unhide it with the unhide eye, and then uh, uncheck it so I can talk. Oh, it's, it looks like it's already unchecked, which is cool. Now just keep in mind when we do this, it's gonna be loud so we can control the audio in here though and balance it out so it sits with my audio a little bit better. Um, and that's one way I've found out to you know, kind of control the situation of that audio and give me a little um, control over it. I'm not quite certain if it's working 100% um, up to par, but if you know it a better way, please let me know. But this is my day one, trying to figure it out. 
Um, I hope it helps you guys get in the ballpark of where you need to go. But yeah, GG Gamers, I don't know.